Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Mm, yes, Tell Chanel's 48 Square, where the family help her out and get through these videos of entertainment. Now, I just don't know what the hell is going on between these two beautiful ladies. Okay, they're sisters. Okay, they, they share the same dad. And to my knowledge, they were getting along pretty good until she started messing, meaning the breast started messing with Big Booty Judy. I mean, I don't understand what is going on, guys. What is going on? Y'all spend most of y'all time fussing about Lisa Ray and what she doing to upset the brat. And Big Booty Judy ain't here for it. So I don't really know what's going on. If anybody can really tell me where the riff came, please put it down there in the comments. Because I, cr I truly don't understand. Can't we all get along? All right, that's just like, is the Brett mother in her life or something, y'all? Y'all tell me, because I'm thinking, I'm trying to be like, is uh, Lisa Ray trying to be like her mother or something in this situation? Or a overbearing sister? Older sister taking up for young baby girl because she sees some things that the Brett is probably not really looking at. But to me, uh, Big Bo big Booty Judy got millions, right? So, the brat is still under a lawsuit, I do believe, of popping a bottle on top of some lady's head in a club because she disrespected uh, the brat in some kind of way. I don't know because the brat kind of gangster like that. You know she's a woman, but she's portraying a man. All right? And she is all about those hands. All day, every day. But it just seems like, I don't know. I mean, even Lisa Ray came out of her white just to be in some fuchsia color or purple color to go along with um, the brat's wedding. Because at one point in time, I didn't think the brat was going to invite her. She showed it in bright Gary from the tee. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, just go on his website, Gary with the T. And I'm pretty sure it's something referencing why. Debrat did not invite Gary with the T. Ah, and they are co-hosts on the Ricky Smiley show. So that's a mess within itself. But we're not here to talk about Gary with the T. Okay. We're here to talk about Lisa Ray and the ongoing feud that she's having with Debrat and Debrat's choices of marriage, of a companion, whatever. Okay. The, I mean, uh, Lisa Ray is just not hearing it for Big Booty Judy. She felt that the breast wife, Big Booty Judy, came at her negative. And she ain't going to have that, not even from the littlest person. Okay. But we get into it. We get it from Urban Bell Mag Magazine. And I don't know who. I guess it's a staff writer. Well, no, it was by Amanda Anderson Niles. Okay. She keep pumping out the celebrity news. And we're here because we are using it. Okay. We're getting her as a resource of putting out this fantastic uh, article on Big Booty Judy and DeBrat. And you know they both have their show together and they kind of like sit down and talk about the issue on their show. Which you know if DeBrat don't want Lisa Ray telling her business about you know the issues that they're going th through the three of them. Then why would DeBrat get on her show and display stuff out? Make it make sense. I should have did it on my other channel. But hey, we're going to see what it does. We're going to see what it make it do on this channel. Deb Chanel's 40th Square. Okay. But we have a title of Lisa Ray McCoy and Jessica Judy Harris du Dupart had tension on Brad Lewis Judy. Okay, okay now. Uh, the Brad and Lisa Ray McCoy sometimes address their issues on Brad Lewis Judy. After their controversial moment on Cocktails with Queens, Lisa Ray got upset 
again because she learned to Brad and Jessica and Judy Harris to part or expanding their family. Okay. So evidently she wasn't privy to that information. Which I feel like once y'all decide y'all are going to have a baby and there's no um uh what do you call it? It's no information given that the pregnancy won't go off without a hitch. Then you should share it with your family. And just, you know, get their viewpoints and see who riding for you, who not riding for you. So you make sure you stay away from the per people that are not riding for you because you don't want your pregnancy to be upset. Unless Big Booty Judy is getting um, someone else to carry the child for her. Uh, like surrogacy or something to that effect. Then uh, I can see where, where where we're going with this in a sense, okay? Ah, but it still don't make two hill of a beans of no sense either. Still, but anyway, it says um, okay. They're spanning their family from the social media posts. Lisa Ray can't understand why her sister can't tell her big news privately. All right. And she's been having to find out things on the internet instead. Now that is kind of piss poor, Debrat, that you're going to say something as delicate and very pivotal, pivotable on your relationship with Judy by saying, oh, okay, we're going to tell the world before we tell our family members. Meaning, Debrat, did you tell your mom? Is she still living? Did you tell her you you and Judy were thinking about expanding y'all family? And we're not talking about with the pups, okay? Even though they're family as well. And they're just like babies. I have my grandson with me. Yes, I do. They happens to be a pup. But I love him just the same if he was a real um, human being. But anyway, well, I still think he's a, hum a human being because he still bleed. He still breathes air like most all humans do. He has to go to get his shots every year. I have to feed him. If I do anything wrong to him, somebody call, uh, what do you call it, animal control. I mean, I'm in, sh I'm in Shitsville. Probably have to pay a fine. May even have to go to jail depending on, you know, the insult to injury. Uh, we dress our uh, babies in clothing. You know, he has a bed. He has a uh, stroller. So, hey, I don't think I'm waiting on this a social security number I can put with him. And then I'm claiming. But as we can see, the world want to politicize and they want to set rules on what is covered and what is not covered. Even though we have to do the same for our pets as we have to do for our human beings. That's why I don't consider him uh, a pet. I consider him a human being. But that's just my plight on the issue and we won't discuss it any further i'm sorry i got off in a tangent but i was just talking about family and he, you know i lost my little baby boy uh last october and i'm still grieving each day every time i see his pictures and stuff but that's part of life isn't it y'all we all gotta have to go through it we were born and we shall die um so that's a part of life the circle of life but getting back to the article it said uh judy and debrat would like for lisa ray to stop talking about these situations in interviews on the recent episode the couple decided that they would both talk to lisa ray and judy was the first one to make an attempt interesting enough their conversation did not go well what i got shoot see we want to saw that one they don't like each other Will they ever like each other? More than likely, no. But it just is what it is. Can we find a common ground that we all can coexist in reunions with the family, gatherings with the family, you know, big times and bad times with the family? Can we just have that understanding that it won't be no bullshit when stuff is happening like that? That's what the brat is going to have to set the tone because she is the common denominator that brings them both together. Okay, so she should be telling her sister, don't be disrespecting my wife and her wife. She would be telling, don't disrespect my sister. Y'all going to have to work it out one way or the other because I love you both. All right. And that's how she should have put it to her, just like a man and woman in a marriage. But, you know, common sense don't always weigh through things. Okay. Foolishness and bullshit sometimes win. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article. Um, 
It says Lisa Ray said that she's not going to be dishonest when she's asked questions during her interviews. She's about being real. So when she was asked if she knew the Brad was expanding her family, she answered truthfully. And she has a right to answer questions the way she wants. Now that is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. I find no fault in that. Um, and you know, Lisa Ray says she don't like lying. So when some bad stuff come on Lisa Ray, we don't want you to uh, sugarcoat it. We want you to just give it to us. Give it to us how you got to give it to you. But anyway, they have another subtitle saying, "Should family issues be off limits during interviews?" Judy told Lisa Ray. That DeBrett refuses to entertain questions about Lisa Ray out of respect for their relationship. Alright, so she would like for Lisa Ray to have the same mindset since she hurts DeBrett when she speaks on their issues publicly. Well, that's my sidebar. Uh, that's something you, meaning Big Booty Judy, you and DeBrett should have got straightened out, ironed out. Okay? With Lisa Ray prior to y'all getting married. Okay. Y'all should have set the tone like this. That and the third is going to happen. And make sure all three parties or all two parties plus the brat come to a conclusion. Okay. Because damn for sure. Lisa Ray got her own house. She ain't got to go over there and sleep with them and be around them and partake in all gatherings with them. Nope. It's just when we have family time, meaning the extended family, have to come together. I don't want no bullshit, and I don't want nobody follow, uh, fighting, and I don't want nobody hollering because my mind, my heart can't take it. Okay, that's what the brat should have been setting the tone. Okay, so she says she wear the pants in the family. Okay, go back to the article. It says, um, Lisa Ray was not feeling any of this. She said she only acts when she's paid to and she's going to be real in her interview. So she suggested that the uh, that the brat speaks up for herself. I'm like, okay, all right then. Speak speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. Okay, well, we won't have to speak to you back one day. And we go on to say when DeBrat sat down to t talk to Lisa Ray, Lisa Ray made it clear that she didn't appreciate how Judy came after her. And moving forward, she's just going to match the energy that Judy gives her. Alrighty then. One thing DeBrat said she never wanted was for Judy and Lisa Ray to clash. She said both have very strong personalities, so it would get ugly fast if they didn't get along. Okay. Well, with a breath, what you think you're going to do about it? What you think you're going to do, girl? What are you going to do about it? Okay. Pretty much, not too much, because she ain't trying to 86 the ideal and telling them to shut up and be nice and play in the sandbox together. But that's just my thoughts. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lisa Ray McCoy. And the brat have been in the headlines quite a bit due to their relationship. The sisters has always been close. However, Lisa Ray feels as if they should be closer. Okay. Now, of course, that's Lisa Ray's opinion. The brat may not be feeling the same way. Okay. A couple of times she's had to learn some major news about her sister from the internet. All right, and that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. And this hasn't been something she can accept. In fact, fans first noticed the sisters had issues after the brat surprised Lisa Ray on Cocktails and Queens that uh, the brat wanted to wish Lisa Ray a happy birthday. However, Lisa Ray was not impressed. She went on to say that she and the brat haven't seen, even been, haven't even been speaking. And the issue was was she found out that the brat romance with jessica judy harris depart from her sister's social media post the brat was speechless when it came to lisa ray's reaction and she had more to say about the situation on brat loves judy she did end up hashing things out with lisa ray but the brat admitted that one of the issues is she's afraid to tell lisa things she feels as if lisa ray can be a very very judgmental person so she will keep things from her because she's fearful that if she shares lisa ray's uh won't be supportive for her decision well lisa ray and the brat had another similar situation this time lisa ray had to find out that judy and the brat were expanding their family on social media she discussed this in an interview and brat and judy wish she would not do this okay so we heard both sides 
um, will that be a resolution? Pretty much don't know. Don't really care. Because whether you're in with your biological family or whether you are in with an extended family member and you want them to be a part of your life, there is no good reason at all that this type of shit should be going on. Period. Point blank. If you can't live one without the other, meaning all three parties, if they can't live life without them, then that should be the main focus for them to be getting along. Okay, because if anything happened to Big Booty Judy, you know the brat is going to run to her sister. Then if her sister feeling still alienated uh, by her not, you know, supporting her um, opinions and likes and dislikes prior to uh the brat not the brat uh big judy leaving this world why should she come to her now so it's kind of like a double-edged sword type of scenario but at this time we need family we need love we need peace and i really hope that they work it out because of at least where can come out of her white clothing just to you know be into the rules of what uh the brat and judy wanted for their wedding far as colors then they can bend and make an understanding that if respect is given at the front door, then I'm pretty sure Lisa Ray will probably not talk about Judy and uh, the Brett's uh, nuptials or they're, they're cohabiting together, their marriage. She probably would say that's something that me and my sister and her wife decided we're not going to discuss and I'm going to honor that. But like I said, if y'all not on good terms, you know, it just is what it is. It, uh, Lisa Ray going to come with the guns open. And read it a lot, load it, and spray. And I'm pretty sure Big Judy is saying the same thing. She ain't going to hold back on uh, her real feelings toward um, Lisa Ray. If she ever got into an interview situation, she's going to let have and, and let the cookies fall where they may. Which I find very stupid and very childish. But if that's where we're going, if that's where we're at, then pretty much... That's where we're going with it, okay? But that's all I got about this video, guys. If y'all want to put y'all two cents in. And um, I review it. And I want to add my two cents in in the mix. Then let's have that conversation down in the comment section. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.